Hi guys, uh, my name is Nkwasa Genesis and uh, yeah, as you can see on my shirt, so I've always had a need to to share my story now that my channel is growing and uh, sometimes people wonder like, hey, who is this kid behind this channel or who is this person or uh, today I saw a question, some guy was like, oh, is it a team? No, I'm the only guy that works on this channel and so this is my story, you know. Uh, I grew up from a family of about uh, six siblings. We are about six, uh, five boys and one girl, uh, with parents who are not educated. My father used to be a, a taxi driver, you know, and my mom never went to school and my dad never went to school. Uh, my dad doesn't know how to even write his name, but uh, so I, I, I studied from... Uh, government schools you know government schools are always kind of like cheap very very cheap in the village and also i grew up in the village so and i used to so my mom not being educated my dad not being educated so there was not much money or not much stuff at home so i grew up going to the farm farming uh, i don't know if you guys know farming but uh here being from uganda east africa it's a, it's a third world country so and farming is our main uh, like activity. So I grew up farming every day, going to farm, uh, going to dig. And um, so as a boy and being the big brother, the firstborn, uh, most times I would look at different families, uh, like families uh, which are doing well, some of the from, uh, families which maybe have worth. And I would ask myself like, why am I like this or like, why was I born in this family or why am I the only one who suffers? Why, why is our family so poor? And all those questions, you know. And sometimes you get depressed, stressed and have all this anxiety because of all, uh, all those issues that we are going on with my family. Also, uh, my parents used to really like, um, uh, they were very hard on me to the point where they would even like, slash us sometimes because maybe of going to our neighbors maybe of doing some stuff that they don't like so they would like beat us real bad so all the all that uh would make me angry to the extent where i hated myself and uh, uh i tried to commit i think i tried to commit suicide when i was about maybe 12 and uh up to since then i grew up with too much hate I hated myself, I hated my family, and I hated the world. And uh, uh, I, I think my first suicide attempt was when I was like 12. And uh, so I grew up with that kind of pain. I tried running away from home many times, and then they would bring me back. Most times I would go out, like pray to God and would be like, God, why don't you take me away from this world? And I'll be like, maybe when I die, uh, the suffering will end, the pain will end, the anger will end, the stress, the anxiety, everything will end. So there was always these voices in my mind telling me like, hey, Kwasa, uh, if you die right now, no one will miss you. Everything will be okay. Uh, there will be no pain and uh, you'll be fine. So I grew up thinking like... Uh, suicide is my is my superpower that's how i used to feel be like oh if things get hard i'll just kill myself if things get hard i'll just disappear but i couldn't even disappear bro because i did not have enough money and i grew up kind of like that and i remember one day uh it was too much for me and i took poison and i slept so when i took poison and i, and I slept I really wanted to die, bro. Like, I wanted to die. By the time or by the point where I, I bought poison and then I mixed it in a soda and then I took it and I was like, I'm done, bro. Like, I'm done. But then, to my surprise, I woke up and the next day and I wasn't dead. And I was like, 
if if it was easy like how we watch people maybe from europe just taking some pills and dying if i had those pills at that stage bro i would have died man or if i if i knew an injection that you could just inject yourself and die i wouldn't be here today so uh, i grew up in that kind of lifestyle hating myself but still having nothing to do and so i kept on kept on and uh, so i went to high school finished high school so when i finished high school i was like ah oh, my parents are really poor so um i'm done with my education journey that's what i thought then uh, i had met one of my friends he was from usa and uh, he offered to pay for my law school so i joined uh, the university now i came to the city and uh, he was paying for my law school so but even though he was paying for my law school I still had other needs, you know, as a man, as a boy, uh, coming from the village now, being in the city, I needed uh, some stuff, you know, on my own. So, but still I kept being depressed and stressed. And I, I, th I remember the last time I wanted to like take my life was uh, uh, maybe two years ago. And it was because I didn't have enough tuition for, for the semester. And, um, uh, Luckily, one of my friends uh, paid for it, but uh, that was the last time uh, I stopped thinking about suicide, you know. Then also about relationships, bro, like, I used to have many relationships with different girls, mostly online, uh, maybe even sometimes physical ones in high school, but at the end of the day, like, I was a different person, you know. At school, I was the funniest kid, bro, in class, like, people would never think that I was going through what I was going through. Like things at home were really bad. Like I was really depressed. Like I wanted to die. No one would think that bro. I was always the happiest kid. I would make jokes. I would make people laugh. People laughed tears, you know. So growing up in that kind of lifestyle still affects you, you know, the relationships you have. Uh it, so my relationships were never successful bro people had to like choose over me like oh uh, uh. so so they always affected me like really bad you know so when i came to the university first uh, law is about four years so now i'm in my third year uh, next year will be in my first year which is the last year and i uh, hope will be like so good man from uh, breaking bad so I kept, but still, even though I was going to the farm, even though I was still in the village, I kept asking myself, like, how can I make money? So I would be on my phone most times, like, how can I make money? How can I, how can I ex escape, like, this poverty? Like, how can I escape the matrix? But uh, at that point, I didn't know it was called the matrix, but I would, my head was always wondering, like, how can I escape this? How can I escape this? So one and a half year ago, I discovered that uh, I was struggling with suicide and uh, I had to appreciate the gift of life that I have because many people die every day, bro, around the world. Think about COVID, bro. It killed many people. Think about even other diseases. Right now, there are people in the hospitals and for you, you are breathing, bro. You're even watching this video. You have even a phone, even a smartphone to do that. Here in Africa, most people don't have that. So I was like, even though I'm suffering, I'm still breathing. So maybe there, that means there is a chance of me turning my life around uh, or changing most of the things. Still, I was struggling, you know, but still I was... Uh, I started this YouTube channel in the lockdown, so I was still creating videos, uh, learning like affiliate marketing, email marketing. I was learning a lot of things, bro, on how to make money online. So I, I would be watching videos instead of watching like a song or some comedy stuff. I would be watching how to make money. I would be sending those emails. I would be uh, watching different tutorials. I would be trying out those skills. And, um, it wasn't until maybe I think three months ago or four months ago when I discovered uh, uh, the top G, you know, Andre Tate. And uh, I started watching his videos because he, he was appearing most in my TikTok feed. I was like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? So I started watching his video. And watching his video, I related with most of the things he said, you know, 
the pain, the trauma, and all that. So I was like, okay, these videos are, are inspiring me, so why, why don't I share them on my channel? So that's how I started sharing videos, those videos on my channel, and boom, bro, my channel started uh, growing up. And uh, so when, it started, when my channel started growing up, I wasn't in too hustle as a university, you know? Because I, I couldn't even afford the $50 to pay. So $50 here in my country, it's about 150 k So being able to get it and pay for Astra University, it would still be so hard for me. So what I decided to... Uh, so I kept uploading videos and now I was putting in more work more work more videos i started seeing views going up and uh, one of the members from uh, hu approached me and was like hey can we work together so yeah we started working together and uh, i started making some money and uh, so started changing my life also another company approached me was like oh we like how you edit your videos and uh, so can so they offered me a job bro to edit their content and now uh, I'm earning uh, a few thousands of dollars, bro. And he's, he's, he's the funny part, bro. It might sound like a few thousands of dollars in your country, but in my country, it's millions, bro. I'm earning me. After converting the, uh, those few thousands of dollars, there are millions my, in my local currency. So, I'm, so I, I used to, I'm using that money to take care of myself, uh, my rent, my uh, my stuff, also paying for my uh, paying the education of my siblings. You know, I have about like six siblings, so all eyes all eyes are on me. And uh, even those days when I still struggled like with suicide, sometimes I'd think about like my parents, and I'll be like. What will, what will they say, like, uh, their first child committing suicide, bro? So, like, how would my sister react? How would my brothers react? Like, how would they continue living life? And um, suicide is... It's a simple solution. It's a long time solution to a simple problem, bro, because emotions change time heals everything and now um i've been able so i started going to the gym and no uh, i'm not it's just been two months so it's not pretty much change but i can see the change and also i, I wasn't fat i wasn't uh, thin but uh, i knew like i had to take this negative energy and put it somewhere invest it in the gym go there every day whether i'm feeling sad or happy like how i'm feeling uh it doesn't affect the things i do you know so these days even when i wake up sad whether i wake up happy or not or less happy i still know i have to go to school i have videos to edit i have a channel to update uh i have assignments to do and i have the gym uh where i need to go so i'm adopting that mindset and i hope you can Adopt that mindset, bro. Also, most of my friends, they don't even know who the top G is. So and they're always like, bro, why are you obsessed with that guy? Why are you obsessed with that guy? I never told them that even I got like those job offerings, like I'm working for this company or even I'm making money from HU. They don't know about that, you know, because you know what, bro, because they grew up in better families. They grew up in families where they have money. They have most of the things they eat maybe four meals a day three meals a day and i never had that so to them it might not mean much but to me being able to do these things being being able to pay for my like for my siblings education like when mom calls me and i can send some money when dad calls me i can send some money i can pay for my gym i can pay for a lot of stuff on my own it kind of makes the depression and the stress like reduce you know because most times, imagine not even being able to afford a meal for one dollar, bro. And you're in the city, so money elevates some of your problems and uh, it reduces on some of your on the, on the stress, bro. So 
if you're watching this video i just my message is simple bro you have the potential maybe you're from africa like me or maybe you're just in in europe in the western world bro still you have potential bro uh i edit these videos you saw on the channel using my iphone 7 I, a friend of mine gave it to me as a gift from usa on it's here on my iphone 7 i edit the video uh and um it's just an iPhone 7, but I'm able to do all these things, to do HU, to do all these, my works online using my iPhone 7. Then also, I think I forgot to tell you guys, I also work as a law assistant for some law firm in New York. So, there is a law firm in New York that I work for, and I'm here in Uganda, and I, I earn about a few hundred dollars, but wh when I convert it into my local currency again, it's much money, so... Uh, that's how my life has pretty much changed and now I'm at a level where I can see like the potential I have what I can be uh, even when like the lights are turned off even when I'm I visualize and I'm like I can be great I can be good at this now I need to do this to do this because every time you reach at a different level then you see you see uh, every time you climb like a mountain you see another another level that you can be at and now I'm looking at that so bro most of my friends they want to have things that that they want to have the money they want to have the the mindset by the oh most of my friends that I started gym with two months ago they have already quit bro and sometimes it hurts me when I go to the gym and I don't see none of my friends there and it's just me and I'm like wow So, it also had to do, being able to do this alone, you know, like uh, hustling alone, trying out all these things alone, because sometimes it's hard. And I would think, oh, maybe it would be fun doing them with different people, but I'm doing them alone at, right now. And uh, so, bro, this sounds much, but here's what you can do is start small. I do not develop this mindset in one night but it took me years of suffering of trauma of depression of many things to where i am right now where i'm like oh i can turn this around i can change this bro it's only me i'm the only person whether you get help or not at the end of the day you're the only person that can make this not work or you can make this work bro sit down look at your life and imagine if i keep doing uh doing these things that i'm doing if i keep on with these habits then how am i going to be the man that i want to be how am i going to conquer the world i'm from africa i have not yet conquered the world but i am on the journey right now and uh I can see where I'm going, you know, and now being able to see where I'm going, so the distractions and everything that comes along, I'm like, no, bro, I know where I'm going, you know. Uh, I've, I think I've heard of this quote where this guy was like, if people asked you, like, why do why do you wake up, like, at five in the morning, like, why do you go to the gym, why do you do uh, these things, you would tell them, you, you have to answer them that if you knew where I was going, you would wake up at that time, I would do things that, like this, so... Uh, my story is long and uh, I still have some strikes on my channel so when when uh, when they expire probably next month I'll be sharing more about my journey and uh, thank you for being my subscribers I really appreciate you a lot I'm just some kid from the village and having like even this amount of subscribers it's really a huge inspiration also if you want to become a member of this channel i think the option is there and uh yeah it's it's kind of way of supporting me you know and also appreciating me giving me like more energy so bro uh you have more energy if you try to focus it on things that could change your life so start small uh because sometimes life is, life is is much bro so start small start changing your small habits bro small habits uh, i read this book called atomic habits yeah so and uh, it, talk, it talks about how you can start by changing just small habits even one habit bro so 
I still have things that I'm struggling with and I'll be sharing with them next time. But uh, like you say, I'm, I'm trying to be the top G, bro. Maybe the African top G. And uh, yeah, thank you for being my subscribers. Uh, I will see you in the next video. And uh, if you have questions uh, or if there is anything, any way I can help you guys. I know there's not much, but if there's any way, uh, let me know. And uh, bro, thank you. My name is Kwasa Genesis. See you in the next video. Peace.